What at first glance seems like a small procession is actually the transportation of a painted wooden bust from the tomb to the lab, the conservator's workspace. The wooden bust, which bears the face of the young Tutankhamun, is carried by an Egyptian in a small box. It almost looks as though it is walking on its own two feet. Its exact significance is still unknown today. Howard Carter suspected that it might have been some kind of clothes and jewelry stand. The discoverer leads the way. Despite the intense heat in the Valley of the Kings, he is formally dressed in a suit and hat. The man next to the bust is Carter's colleague Arthur Weigel, an Egyptologist, stage designer, writer, journalist, and all-round colorful personality. He was known as an occultist and is considered one of the inventors of the Curse of the Pharaohs. Lord Carnarvon, watching this scene sitting on a wall, was to feel the consequences of this curse, if Weigel is to be believed. The financier of the excavation died from the effects of a supposedly harmless mosquito bite. It resulted in blood poisoning. The medical explanation sounds more realistic than the legend of the curse of the pharaoh.